I'm standing in Painted Canyon, one of the side washes. Ahead of me, I see a buff colored rock layer. It's the same colored rock layer that produced this boulder at my feet. Now, what kind of rock is this? By the way, I'm going to be asking questions, not answering them. If you can look at these sand and pebble pieces and not know that this is a sedimentary rock, then you have got the wrong video. The questions are only going to get harder. So ahead of me, I see the Mecca Formation, a sedimentary rock formation that contains pebbles and rocks and boulders that were worn away from the San Bernardino Mountains and deposited here in the Mecca Hills of Southern California. Looking around, I see an interesting feature. What happened here? Here we have these curly pieces of rock, of sediment. What caused them to curl? And what kind of sediment is it that will behave in this strange manner? Right next to me, this is a wonderful place for geology, I have a very coarse sandstone, some finer sandstone, and then at the top, I have a layer of very fine stone. Now on it, I can see some undulations. Those undulations tell me the environment in which this rock formed. What caused those undulations and what is the environment in which this rock formed? So now, let's take a walk down the canyon. And as we walk, let's figure out what caused the rocks around me. Now the rocks around me are not like the ones we just looked at. There's some stripes to them. Let's go to this sunny area and figure out what these stripes are about. Now remember, striped layers could be strata of sedimentary rock layers, or they could be foliation from metamorphic rock layers. So what is this? Well, whatever it is, the layers are certainly at a very, very high angle. Let's take a look. Some of these layers are very light in color, while others are very dark. Further on, we can see a pink layer cutting straight across the other layers. So most of the layers are going almost vertically, and the pink layer is going across. What is that pink layer? What caused it? What minerals in it? Well, here's a very, very large section of that pink layer. It's got cleavage planes, and it's pink. I hope you know what mineral that is. But even if you don't, can you figure out what the heck it's doing here? Well, here's another pink layer. This pink layer is a very different composition. At least it looks different. And if I look across the canyon, there it is again, way up there, cutting across the other striped layers. Is that pink layer a dike, a sill, or could it be a vein? Could it be a sedimentary rock layer? Cut at a different angle. Can you figure that out? If you haven't decided yet about these planes, are these bedding planes or these foliation layers, let's take a look at some that are very well exposed. These layers right here, very, very flat. Now, if you went for bedding planes, you had to assume that the sediment fell on here at this was the surface of a lake or the ocean and has since been tilted upwards. If you think it's metamorphic, you would assume that the pressure pushed in at right angles to this plane, making foliation layers. 
So what is that? Is that sedimentary or metamorphic? And if you know the answer to that, what kind of rock is it? Well, let's look a little further for some clues. Meanwhile, there's rocks all over the place. Here's a nice rock, very rounded. What environment was this deposited in? And what kind of rock is it? Pretty common rock. Do you think it's older or younger than most of the rocks around here? What's the story of this very rounded rock? Now, as I go down canyon, I can see a chocolate brown layer of rock. That chocolate brown layer is just chock full of cobbles and boulders. Let's take a look at those cobbles and boulders. Are they well sorted? Are they well rounded? If you can answer that, you can also tell me the environment in which they were formed. And how did this chocolate rock end up next to the striped rocks? Ah, there it is. There's the contact between the two rock layers. It's coming down from the upper left to the lower right. Chocolate rocks on the right. Now when you see a contact like that, you've got a po couple possible explanations. It could be that there's a change in the, in the environment of deposition, like sandstone deposited on top of shale. It could be an unconformity. Could be an angular unconformity, sedimentary rock layers lifted up, eroded, and more sedimentary rock layers deposited on top of that, and then everything tilted. It could be a disconformity, also sedimentary layers on top of sedimentary layers. It could also be a nonconformity, old metamorphic and igneous rock layers lifted to the ceiling, eroded away, and sedimentary rocks deposit on top. The final possibility is that it's a fault. One layer moves past another and you have two totally unrelated rock layers juxtaposed next to each other. Or if it's a fault, maybe this stuff on the left is not a different older rock layer. Perhaps it has simply been changed by the process of faulting. So, what do you think it is? <laughs>